Hey guys, it's Trevor the High Desert Tactical and I'm going to talk about fire starting steels and I'm going to compare two types today. One that's uh, a cheaper version called Milspec Plus, the Adventure Gear Superior Outdoor Products Fire Starter. Um, I paid like, I don't know, like $4.99 for this sucker and then I went and got the uh, Light My Fire Series Swedish Fire Steel 2.0 army model so we got that guy and then we're gonna try to start some some flames with some just some tinder from around here and then we're gonna switch over to a type of fuel we're gonna do the wet fire series which I paid about nine bucks for this this uh, the bulk pack or whatever you want to call it and then the Coughlin's uh, fuel tablets and we're just gonna kind of go over those guys. So let's get started. So one thing about survival that I've kind of come to conclusion is like we have to do, we have to have one thing very importantly to survive, especially out in the woods and being able to um, keep warm and keep away predators and that's fire. So since you know, since the Stone Ages or the ages of when man was like surviving and basically we didn't have guns and houses and cars and all these forms of protection, you know, a good old campfire actually deterred, you know, at least 50% of our issues in the world that would may get us, whether it's cold trying to kill you or the, you know, pack of wolves or a lion or whatever, whatever country you live in, bears. So I have, I've been kind of researching steels and how to use them and stuff and I'm not a fire steel guy at all and so the first thing I went and did is I went to my local army surplus and picked up this guy and this is uh, you know kind of like one of those generic cheapo guys and when I say cheap I mean cheap and I was very unsatisfied with this sucker uh, just on the back it says gather twigs leaves etc hold fire starter about one inch from shavings scrape length of rod with attached tool creating sparks that will give shavings uh, that will ignite the shavings and, and additional add additional fuel to the fire reusable hundreds of times so so there's that guy so we're gonna take this guy and set it off to the side and just open it and I'm so so awesome that I don't even need a knife um, I've already had one of these and this I have bought two for this for this experiment and I actually ended up I was very unsatisfied with this thing and like this is actually they kind of forgot they usually remove this but here's this film that plastic film they put over like whatever piece of metal this is I think it's like a cheap piece of steel so here we are with the the zinc rod and the steel and then this little thing and so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time working on this guy because I've learned my lesson um, with the mill spec I was actually very unsatisfied with this one thing about it is trying to make shavings was very difficult so I'm like like it takes a lot just to get the shavings to get going and the problem is is they kind of spread all over so you got to figure out where they're at and I don't think everybody's got a piece of steel laying around so you can see where the shavings are and then being able to make a spark you get a little bit of going once once you get enough strikes on it the the sparking breaks down and it's a lot harder to actually get a spark to work see and from my past experience I screwed up and I tried to make a video originally like about I don't know two or three weeks ago and I, f I found well it was longer than two th three weeks ago I found trying to use this I ended up wearing a hole in my finger right here I mean like literally a bad hole and I healed up really fast and really good but I mean I tore off chunks of my skin trying to use this blasted thing and I was I was very I was very disappointed with this so and then like once you you know once you get this smoothed out after a couple strikes it doesn't work it work very good and you have to go see so uh, I don't know like what I might do is I might grind up this zinc like try to figure out how to physically grind the zinc up and have a little container full of zinc but going like this would just totally destroy my hand so this sucker it's got a big old fat fail. Um, one, the little, 
the steel part is just a piece of flimsy metal you can bend it see and then it's got this weird little shavy grinder thing and it's pretty much useless I was very dissatisfied with this guy so we'll just take this and get rid of it this is the light my fire light my fire series the fire steel 2.0 army edition um, this sucker it may not come with a zinc rod on it but it's a really nice nice steel or yeah nice steel and it basically comes tethered together similar to the other one it's got a piece of steel and here's your your uh, flint rod or whatever it does have a whistle you know so I mean I don't know why you would really want a whistle but it's got a whistle built into it I guess they were trying to use the excess plastic um, one thing about the steel that I really dig are the handles these handles are very very good to use um, this piece of steel striker has a little lip on one side so it makes it really easy to to make amazing sparks look at those things go and we can actually use that zinc that zinc that I barely got going really worked really well so I mean that thing you you could see I've struck it struck it a few times and it just keeps going so uh, we're gonna try to start start some fire some fires with this sucker so we'll give it a we'll give it a whirl and I'm gonna probably chew my hand up just for the sake of this review for you guys so let's try to light some stuff up I've gone ahead and got a couple variations of tinder uh, where I live we don't have a lot of hardwoods or willow trees or anything like that and so there's a lot of straw grass you know um, you know this is actually a wild form of weed I think but we just call it straw where I where I live and so we're gonna give this a whirl as a as a good tinder um, one thing that you can do with this stuff to get a really good tinder is basically break it apart and just kind of mush it try to get some fibers kind of exposed you just rub it in your hands it's a little rough on your hands but you just got to be careful so you get this little ball of chewed up tinder and then we're gonna give the the El Cheapo mill spec going I'm gonna try to scrape some some zinc in it hopefully I don't chew my hand up too much so we get that and we're gonna give it a try you can see how hard that is I'm pretty much not gonna do it because it's already chewing up my finger so grab the light my fire the army steel fire steel let's see if we can get this to go and I'm not gonna guarantee that I can start any fire or anything but Oh, there we go. I got I've gotten way way further than than what I anticipated. So we'll take this. So hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna get this going here. All right, so let's try this. I make myself a little bird nest. A little bird nest of fuel right here. Plant this sucker right down in the middle of it. And let her have it. Oh, there we go. Just let it go. Oop, we had it going for a minute. Hold it over. There we go. So you can obviously see that uh, the the fire steel works a whole lot better than the than that mill spec piece of junk. So I was really dissatisfied. This was like five bucks. This was ten. So I mean, four dollars more, you get a way better way better piece of of uh, equipment, I guess, if you want to call it. So. All right, so there's that's it. Starting some dry tinder. So I've gone ahead and made myself some some wood shavings out of a piece of lodge pole. I don't know if you guys are familiar with lodge pole, 
but you know I basically grab my my Kershaw trimmer and just just kind of work work the wood in light strokes just to make some shavings you can see that so that's basically what I did and I'm not the greatest shavings guy I mean I know a guy Tim over at the KYTO 82 or god well I just know it's Tim over there he was made a video on a steel with a with a um se type knife and stuff and he talked about how to make shavings with it with it so there's that i'm gonna grab el cheapo i'm not gonna waste much time trying to work with this guy but i'm gonna try to make some sh some zinc shavings and crunch these guys together kind of get them so they stay let this guy have it It's just not working, dude. That's still tearing up my finger. So we'll grab the fire starter. And hoping my camera lasts because I think the battery wants to die soon. So grab her and let her have it. I'm gonna grab these and try to get some more fibers built up. You gotta have kind of tough hands to do this. Oh, there we got a little flame. Oop! Almost had it. It was burning for a minute. Together. The only problem I've kind of noticed is that the rod is so short that it kind of knocks your tinder around. We got a little breeze going too, which isn't helping, I don't think. So I'll try again. This is the last time, and then last few strokes. So I'm like scraping up my knuckle a little bit. All right, so maybe I need to work on my shaving skills a little bit more, get a little bit better tinder to go. Um, part of it, I got a wind blowing if you can tell. That's not helping, so. All right, let's try the fuels. So we're gonna try the Coglin fuel tab right now. And one thing I noticed that it works best if you, cr if you crush it up. So you get it all crushed up. See what happens. Yeah, well, this really lights really well with a lighter and a match, which I think, you know, in today's society, everybody's got lighters and matches, so I'm pretty sure we won't be in the dark too long, you know, because there's lots of that stuff. But so there's that. Got it all crunched up. We'll give it, I'm not even going to work with that mil, mil spec thing anymore just because I've given up on that piece of garbage. But let's give this guy a try. It wants to burn, you can definitely smell it. It stinks all right. Oh, it's trying. Oh, we got some we got some fire. It's burning all right. So you can see that I did get it lit. Oh, it went out. It gets going and then you can probably add a little bit of fuel to it. There we go. So if you know, if you use the coglin, crunch them up and then use a the steel on them you can you can get them to burn real easy the wind's not helping you guys probably can hear the wind blowing it just picked up I was having a great little video session and then you know the wind had to start in on me There we go, it's burning. 
There you can see it. So she's burning. So the Coglin fuel tab, if you crush it up and get a like a little coarse grind to it, using like maybe a rock or some finding a hard surface to work on, which there's always hard surfaces everywhere, you definitely could start a fire with a Coglin fuel tab and a and a steel. Some people you could even take one of these and crush them up into a fine powder and, and store them in little plastic baggies if you wanted. So that that works really, really well. Um, and I've used these before. These work really good for cooking. Um, you just take like two and stand up, stand them on each other, and just light them up, and you can cook right over them. You don't even have to have tinder or anything to do that. So that's the fuel Coglin fuel tab burning. Um, let's give the let's give the wet fire a try. I, mean, I actually haven't used this stuff, but I've seen a, a few uh, videos done on, on it. Uh, my buddy Yankee Four, Bobby, he. Uh, he did a little brief video over the wet fire starter, and I'll try to find that. Um, and I'll set, I'll uh, post uh, Kaido's and Tim and Tim at Kaido's channel, and then Yankee Four, Bobby. I'll post their videos down about the different stuff. So, um, wet fire comes in a little cube, and it's actually reusable. So if you like, didn't have to, you don't have to use all of it. They just sell it in broken chunks like this. I don't know if you can see that. And it's kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, putty-like. It's not really putty, but it's like like wet powdered sugar kind of right here. It's, or it feels like a wax, like a soft wax. So if you took it and just broke off a little piece, like so, and then it says it's best to crumble it up, and you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. Nope. But you just get it crumbled up. And I think this stuff lights up really good. I've never, I've seen videos on it, but. There it goes, man. And like, look at that. That stuff really gets going. That was super easy. Um, the wet fire stuff's a little bit more expensive. Um, but, you know, you could take a little bit and put it on there. And you can cook just with a cube. Or you can, uh. You can actually, you know, look at that stuff really, I mean, it really takes off, so. That wet fire works really, really good. Um, I, and you can actually reuse it. A lot of times they say that you can take it and put it back in the plastic. And then, like, if you needed to, you just kind of tape it up. Like, I'm going to take this and tape it. And it should last me, you know, a few months, it says. Like, well, I mean, it could last a while, but. But, yeah, that, that fire is burning away, just taking off right now, even with the wind and whatnot it's going I definitely the wet fires got my vote for fast I mean it just lit right up with this with this uh, light my fire steel so well guys that's the recap of my fire steel starting process and um, I gave you know a try on four different products so two different types of steels I did the mill spec uh, Mill Spec Plus Adventure Gear Superior Outdoor Fire Starter Stick. This thing was a pile of garbage. I did not like it at all. And I've given it a try many times. The one thing about it that I will do is I don't really like stuff going to waste. So I'm probably going to try to take this zinc and figure out a way to grind it into little shavings and then store the little shavings, little zinc shavings in a, in a, a vial or something so I could at least use those as like emergency where you could like sprinkle them like a little salt and pepper shaker over some tinder or something so this big fail uh the fire steel 2.0 army uh it's applicable applicable up to 12,000 strikes uh this uh, swedish fire steel 2.0 fire starter the ultimate way to light a fire in any weather originally developed by the swedish defense department includes an improved striker and emergency whistle on the striker handle I'm reading the back of this thing. Um, if you go to lightmyfire.com, you can check out the other lines of their products. They do have like little st fire starter uh, uh, little kits and stuff. And they also have a fire steel like this, which is a micro guy. And I do have one of those. I'm not using it. There's a surprise involved with that. So this guy works really, really good. I was able actually able to light uh, some grat or straw tinder that I meshed up and made into a little bit of a fluffy material that lit up really good I was even able to light both fuels that I'm about to talk about 
and those lit up really well. Um, my wood shavings, I need to work on my shaving technique. I think what I was, I was actually creating more like a shaved chip versus an actual light shaving, which is like got a paper consistency, which takes to a spark really well. So I think that was my error. error. I did get it to flame up a little bit. I just wasn't quick enough to like coddle that ember to get it going. So definitely didn't fail on that, in my opinion. I need, um, I need to work on my skill set. Uh, the other thing, too, is the Coglin Fuel Tablets. These aren't the greatest tablets in the world, but this thing has got 24 tablets, and it cost me $2.50. And they, like, like th three or four tablets could last you quite a while. They light up really well, especially with, like, a, an actual flame, like a lighter or a match. Um, but you can, just like I did, you just crush it into a coarse powder, like a sea salt consistency, maybe a little bit more coarse than that. And, and it lights up just fine, and you can get yourself some fire going with that really well. Um, this definitely comes in second, but my fuel of choice right now is the wet fire fire starting tinder. This, this stuff works really good. It also burns on a wet surface. You can actually put this on a wet piece of metal, and, and it will light just the same. And I might try that one of these days. And you can use it with a lighter. You can use it with a, a steel striker. And it works really good. And this is by uh, Ultimate Survival Technologies. And you can you can check these guys out at ultimatesurvival.com and go to their website. They have a few other products that work really well. They actually create little fire starting kits where it comes with a fire starter, the wet fire starter, and a stove uh, base, which I have. I am gonna. There's a surprise involved in that one as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. So I got a few other surprises coming in in my videos i'm sorry that they're taking me longer to come up with these videos uh i'm just i'm working seven days a week and it's really exhausting so hopefully you guys will tolerate me not putting out as many videos as fast or on a regular basis i try to do them on mondays and tuesdays and wednesday like wednesday nights but because i you know those are my least busiest days but yeah this stuff definitely has got my vote and the fire steels. These are my two recommended products. The Coglins, Coughlins or Coglins. Coughlins works really, really well for how cheap it is. This is like about ten dollars for this package of two, four, six, eight, eight pieces. And I'm, I've only used one piece. The other three pieces are in a, in my my bag I got here. So, all right, I'm done talking. This is Trevor the High Desert Tactical. I appreciate all you guys watching and let me know if you got any questions or comments. Please subscribe if you dig my channel, recommend my channel, like, and definitely comment. I prefer a lot more comments than anything. Um, I'm coming up on 20,000 views. I'm only like 500 views away from hitting 20,000 and I've only had my channel for seven months, give or take. So I really appreciate everybody putting in the time to watch my videos and I got some stuff going on. Don't forget to check out my little knife my little knife uh, giveaway it's a Kershaw OD2 on my little Kershaw OD2 review and that started December 6th and it's gonna end January 6th of 2013 just in case somebody's watching this and this is like a year later so but I plan on doing more giveaways and I got one coming up again I'm just kinda wait until the giveaways clear up because other people are doing giveaways too and I don't feel like stealing their thunder which really wouldn't be much cuz I only got 140 five viewers so I want to sweat it too much well thanks guys for watching I really appreciate it and I'll catch you on the flip side